Good morning, friends. I hope you're all enjoying your snow day. Today, I'm going to give you a quick lesson on parts of a story, and then you're going to have a short story to read on our site, and also just a really short quiz um, with some questions on it, and there might be a couple other assignments that I upload throughout the day, so just keep your eye on it. Again, parents, if you're watching this, please don't hesitate to email me with any questions or concerns you have about this assignment. This is just a great way for the education to continue outside of the classroom, even on a snow day. So hopefully they get a couple hours inside to work on this. Uh, these assignments will be due and graded when school can hopefully picks back up on Monday. And yeah. So I have just created some sheets here just to talk about the different parts of a story. Um, so let's get to it. So the first part of the story is the plot. So the main events of a play, story, or a book. So when you first start reading the story, the first time you go through it, you're just going to kind of understand, okay, what's going on and everything that it happens in it. And the next part of the story is the setting. So this is the place or the different surroundings uh, where an event takes place. So in a story that you read, if it says, and then the two kids who were from Ohio went to a journey in Columbus. So if the story's taking place in a Columbus, that's what you would write for the setting. The next part of the story are the characters. So the people involved in the story, their names, what they're doing, um, just a little bit about them if they give you any information. And then you have the theme of the story. So this is what... Um, so like what the author is trying to tell. The big idea, really. That's what I was trying to get to. I had a blank. So what's going on in the story? What's something that keeps occurring? Could it be like the moral of the story is to not take things from your siblings or to always follow the rules? So just really like the underlying thing, the big idea of what keeps happening and what the author is just trying to convey to tell you throughout the story through your, as you're reading it. And part of that is also an event. So a thing that happens throughout the story. So if they're traveling and then all of a sudden there's a storm they have to find cover, that's an event that happens throughout the story that could possibly change it or alter it just a little bit. Every story also seems to have a conflict. So this is a problem in the story. So if, you know, the theme is um, are some kids hanging out and a couple of the kids aren't, like, listening and they're just, like, not following the rules. So the problem or the conflict would be them not following the rules and then they would have to come up with a solution so how the conflict is solved and so most of the time stories especially the ones you're going to be reading in school are going to have a conflict throughout it and they're pretty much always going to end with a solution I'll have another link to describe these a little bit better and a little bit more in depth if you need it uh, posted on the website and just email me I'll be on here all day for you have a good day